सो वी विल कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन हेयर सो कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स दे आर टू स्टेटमेंट्स गिवन सो इन दिस स्टेटमेंट टू इज रॉन्ग विच से डेट यूरेनियम एनरिज टू द एक्सटेंट ऑफ एटलीस्ट सिक्सटी परसेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी नो इट इज अराउंड टू और थ्री परसेंट दैट इज सफिशियंट फॉर प्रोडक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सिक्सटी परसेंट एंड मोर इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर न्यूक्लियर बॉम्ब्स एटोम बॉम्ब्स विच वी से एंड द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट दैट इंडिया डिस्पाइट हैविंग यूरेनियम डिपॉजिट्स डिपेंड ऑन कोल फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ इट्स इलेक्ट्रिसिटी प्रोडक्शन दैट्स करेक्ट थर्मल पावर प्रोडक्शन इज द मेजर सोर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इन इंडिया बट द रीजन मैंशन बिलो इज नॉट करेक्ट सो स्टेटमेंट टू इज रॉन्ग सो द आंसर विल बी सी क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू इट इज इट इज अबाउट मर्सुपियल्स सो मर्सुपियल्स आर एनिमल्स लाइक कैंगरू एंड ऑल सो मर्सुपियल्स आर नॉट नेचुरली फाउंड इन इंडिया विच इज करेक्ट एंड मर्सुपियल्स कैन थ्राइव ओनली माउंटेन ग्रास लैंड विथ नो प्रोडेटर्स सो दैट इज नॉट करेक्ट दे कैन थ्राइव इन various kind of ecosystem not just uh, mountain grasslands so statement 2 is again wrong so correct answer is statement uh, c answer is correct that is statement 1 is correct and statement 2 is not correct now this is a very factual question that is invasive species specialist group uh, belongs to which one of the following organization the correct answer is iucn that is international conservation sorry yeah the correct answer is aiucn that is international conservation of nature union for conservation of nature sorry uh, question number 24 uh, consider the following fauna a lion tail makuk uh, malabar civet and samba deer so which of them are nocturnal matlab raat mein kaun jagte hain so lion tail makuk is kind of like a monkey so wo it is not a nocturnal b and c are nocturnal that is malabar civet and samba deer they are nocturnal so the answer is b that is only two uh, again it's a very factual question agar aata hai to aata hai nahi aata to nahi aata hai uh, it talks about uh, which of the following organisms perform waggle dance for others of their kin to indicate the direction and the distance to a source of their food so it's a tough question and a very factual question and the answer is c that is honey bees uh, then this question uh, can be predicted and uh, based on the previous year's question where we have seen that uh, uh, such kind of questions uh, all the options are correct so here also all the options are correct and the question is that about mushrooms and they are asking about the properties of mushrooms whether they are they are having medicinal properties or psychoactive properties or insecticidal properties or uh, bioluminescent properties so they are having all the properties so d all four are correct then this is about indian squirrels so uh, the options are they build nest by making burrows in the ground so unlike the american squirrels uh, they make burrows in the ground so that is correct uh, they store their food materials like nuts and seeds in the ground that is again correct as that can be uh, guessed from the option 1 and they are omnivorous so many students can confuse here that squirrels can't be they don't eat uh, you know animal products or animals other insects but uh, it's not like that and they are omnivorous they eat uh, small insects you can read uh, you can go on this link and read more about indian squir- squirrels and then uh, next question is about the microorganisms so my the question is very simple uh, the options given are that uh, some micro microorganisms can grow in environment with temperature uh, above the boiling point of water some can uh, grow in environment uh, temperature below the freezing point of water and some microorganisms can grow in highly acidic environment with a ph below 3 so it's a very simple question and can easily be guessed that the microorganisms can grow in all the three environment and uh, so the answer is c that is all three are correct we can take the example of bacteria and protozoa they are microorganisms and they grow different uh, environment like even in sahara desert or in boiling water or in uh, Uh, let's say polar areas where there is a sub zero temperature then we have this question uh, it is again a very factual question which one of the following makes a tool with a stick to scrape insects from a hole in a tree or a log of wood so the answer is orangutan uh, now it's a tough question if you know it you know it if you don't you don't 
and very difficult to guess also but yeah uh, if you have slight knowledge of uh, animal kingdom you can answer this question but uh, again it's a difficult question then a very simple question again uh, the question like that of uh, uh, soya that mushroom uh, they are asking that in the making of how many of the above are hydrofluorocarbons used the options given are aerosols foam agents fire retardants and lubricants so in the making of all the four uh, hydrofluorocarbons are used that's a simple question and can be easily guessed then we have the uh, question from geography uh, jhelum river passes through wooler lake it's correct and very simple krishna river directly feeds koleru lake so those it's a very simple question uh, if you have uh, done the preparation based on the upsc syllabus you must be having idea of koleru lake and the answer is not correct krishna river direct, doesn't directly feeds uh, into koleru lake and kanwar lake was very much is, uh, in news it's in bihar and it's a dying lake so the option given is the meandering of gandak river formed kanwar lake no it's a buri gandak actually so only one option is correct so a is the correct answer only one then we have uh, port and why they are well known as so first is kamarazar port and uh, it is correctly uh, given that first major port in india registered as company second is your mundra port uh, largest privately owned port in india again it's correct and third option is correct uh, incorrect sorry that is the largest container port in india it's not visakhapatnam it's the mumbai port which is the largest container port in india so one and two so b option is correct it is only two pairs then uh, they are asking about they are given three three trees and they are asking which of them are deciduous so except for jake fruit jake fruit is your actually katal ka pair it is a evergreen tree rest mahua and teak they both are deciduous trees so the, again the answer is b that is only two options are correct now again a question from geography uh, india has more arable area than china it's a correct statement the proportion of irrigated area is more in india than china shockingly but correct because china has around 43% while india has around 47% of irrigated area proportion wise and the average productivity per hectare is more than that in china which is again correct so the correct answer here will be uh, one and two statements are correct okay so moving on to question number 35 uh, this is about which one of the following is the best example of repeated falls in sea levels giving rise to present day extensive marshland so this one was in news recently and the answer is navpada swamp you can relate it with the current affairs as well question number 36 Uh, limonite and rutile abundantly available in certain coastal tracts of india are its sources of which one of the following so the answer is titanium uh, it was in news recently again it's uh, more of a current affairs question than geography question and you can read in the link uh, but a tough one because uh, we don't pay attention to attention to such news such a small news but it's a uh, it was in news recently again uh, again a very current affairs on oriented question uh, from the geography topic so the question is about 3/4 of world's cobalt a metal required for the manufacture of batteries for electric motor vehicle is produced by which country so the answer is drc that is democratic republic of congo uh, you can read an article in the guardian air the question is difficult and uh, most of the people would have guessed kazakhstan based on uh, india's recent relationship with the central asia but the answer is drc that is democratic republic of congo question number 38 uh, it's a geography based question and a simple one if you have uh, because most of the people who prepare for upsc they prepare the map of africa and the question is which one of the following is a part of the congo congo basin congo river basin answer is cameroon so you can see the map here uh, this is the congo basin and drc Cameroon, you can see here on the western side, northwestern side. So it is a part of the Congo Basin. Question number thirty-nine. It is again a geography-based question and a map-based question from geography, and a simple one. 
because we study these topics uh, in geography when we prepare for the map of India. So the question is the Amarkantak hills are at the confluence of Vindhya and Sahayadri. No, no, not, totally wrong. It is at the confluence of Vindhya and Satpura. Uh, Biligirangam hills constitute the easternmost part of the Satpura range. No, Biligirangam is uh, Biligirangam is somewhere somewhere in Karnataka. So it is uh, nowhere related to Satpura. And Teshachalam hills constitute the southernmost part of Western Ghat. Again wrong. Uh, Teshachalam hills uh, is in the Eastern Ghats, not in the Western Ghats. So all the options given here are wrong. Last one, uh, it is about the highways. So east faced corridor under Golden Quadrital project connects Dibrugar and Surat. No, no, it's wrong. It's Selchar and uh, in the western part of Gujarat, it's Porbandar, I guess. Dibrugar is obviously wrong. Trilateral highway connects More in Manipur. That is correct. And Chiang Mai in Thailand via Myanmar. No, Chiang Mai is not the correct one. It's Mai Soth. It's, it is in uh, Thailand and uh, Bangladesh, China, India, BCIM economic corridor connects Varanasi in Uttar Pradesh with Kunming in China. So again it is wrong. It is Kolkata and Kunming in China. So all the options are wrong. So answer is D, none.